Laverne Cox, please come forward. You have showed a generation the power of identity, of projecting who you truly are with courage, conviction, and pride. From acting to activism, you have an innate ability to inspire your audience, most notably through your Emmy Award-winning role as a transgender inmate in the critically acclaimed HBO series, Orange is the New Black. As talented behind the camera as in front of it, you also won an Emmy for your documentary, Laverne Cox Presents, The T-Word, which explored the lives of transgender youth. <laughs> These are just two examples of a body of work that has broken down barriers and brought issues of race and gender into the mainstream. Out Magazine has called you a hero of the LGBT community. You were named one of Glamour Magazine's 2014 Women of the Year, and you appeared on the cover of Time Magazine. So let us add to that recognition. <laughs> For the ways you have used your creative talents to challenge the status quo the New School is honored to confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts, Honoris Causa. It's my first time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Graduating class of 2016, how are you feeling this morning? I said, how are you feeling this morning? I am truly honored to accept this honor today. And, and as, I, as I walked in the processional to this stage, I couldn't help but think that, that four years ago, four short years ago, I had not booked an acting job in almost a year. And I was thinking about, this time, it was May of um, 2012, I was thinking about going back to graduate school because maybe the acting thing was not going to work out for me. Um, <laughs> and I, a friend of mine had just um, got into grad school, and so I bought the GRE um, study materials from him, and I was seriously looking at different schools to go to grad school. And then I got the call for the audition for a Netflix original series called... <laughs> called Orange is the New Black. I think some of you might know it. And, and the rest is literally history. And it really, it feels amazing um, to stand here before you. And I often ask myself, how does a black um, transgender woman from Mobile, Alabama, raised by a single mother from a working class background, How, how did I end up here in, in, in this position? And I know that it is a, is a, a huge reason. It's because I had so many people who believed in me and supported me, a mother who was a teacher and believed in education and the power of education, even though I'm just a little actress on, on Netflix, well, soon to be on CBS and Fox. Um, <laughs> My education has been something that has been so crucial and so critical for me as I go forth into the world looking at it critically. Um, when I got the chance to be on a show called Orange is the New Black that highlighted the um, issues of women in prison, I knew it was an opportunity to talk about a young woman named Cece McDonald, a black transgender woman who spent 19 months in a men's prison for defending herself. And I'm so proud that that documentary about CeCe's life called Free CeCe is premiering June 2nd at the Los Angeles Film Festival. I, I believe I'm here because I had a lot of support 
I, I never gave up on my dream. And the moment I had an opportunity and a platform, I tried to use it to give back, to be of service. So as you go forth into your lives after the new school, I, I implore you to, to never give up on your dreams. Julia Cameron writes in The Artist Way that when we move towards our dreams, we move towards our divinity. And as you move towards your divinity, be of service give back, and I believe that is when you will align with a higher purpose for yourselves and go towards your destiny. Thank you so much.